Hello, everybody, and welcome to Spooky Time again. Today on Spooky Time, we've got Dealer's Choice. Who is this dealer? What is their choice? Hit me. Blackjack. Is it about blackjack? Actually, now that I think about it, Dealer's Choice is sort of, sort of a poker term, isn't it? You know, you can set certain wild cards and that sort of thing. What am I talking about? Last time, we had a burning man. He was on fire. And he was chasing this poor this poor woman and her nephew. He chased them all the way to a lake. And then they jumped in the lake. And when he tried to follow them, the flames went out. He couldn't get them because they were in the water. And uh, as a plus side, he stopped burning and he stopped being so mad all the time. And then they gave him a ride back to town. It was called the Burning Man. We saved him. Right, dealer's choice. Let's see what game game it is. Hey, everybody again. Uh, before I started the episode, well, for the first time I tried to watch it, I got um, called away on important business. You know how it is. So I had to put it aside and come back for today. So now that we're finally ready to watch Dealer's Choice, uh, let's get into it, shall we? Morgan Freeman! My brain is breaking. Oh, yeah. Dealer's Choice. I know that guy too. This episode's full of famous faces. Just a friendly game of cards. It doesn't take much to buy into this game. How much? But buying out? Maybe something else entirely. What does that mean? You see, there's a wild card on the table. In a deck that's been reshuffled and cut. In the Twilight Zone. King High Straight. Ooh. Nice hand. Four halves. Six is over jacks. Oh. Ooh. Another four halves. Nick, right? Yeah, Nick. You cheating, Nick? What did you Nick? say you were here for? Oh, Norman. He's my cousin. All right, Norman. Sick, huh? Yep. <laughs> Shirley made him stay home. See if we can't do things up. Maybe change the game. What do you yeah, have in mind? Five cards start all the time. I mean, it ain't all the game in town, you know. Oh, uh, what do you got in mind anyway? Night baseball? Oh. <laughs> eat dirt. I'm going to go get me a beer. Yeah, eat You dirt, girls dude. work this out? Ain't that the game where you get all the cards down, you can't look at them? Yeah. My grandmother plays that. Oh, lay off, will you? She's in a nursing home. Hey, uh, Peter, Peter, you're out of beer. Where's the beer? Right now. Bring your own Sing beer, it. dude. Do I play all the cards at once? Oh, no. Marty, no. You turn your cards up one at a time, and then you bet every time. You got it? Oh, okay. Okay. We'll play five cards start like we always do. Oh, I wanted to see this weird one. I I've tried to teach you anything. <laughs> five cards start with drop dead. There's another six for Nick there. Another six? What is it with you and sixes? Did you guys see that movie that was all about poker? A streetcar called Desire. It was on TV. Stella! Don't nothing belong on a poker table except cards and whiskey. <laughs> Crack me up. A <laughs> super story, Marty. Let's get some whiskey. Uh, how come you drank today? You know, nothing to do. And, you know, TV's broke. Hey, 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 fellas, fellas. This is an interesting episode so far. Why are we focused on this guy's drinking? Is this important to the plot? I just want to watch some cards. We're not going to see any card. We're not going to see any poker. This is all about the human condition. Why this guy's drinking? What are the problems we have at the table that need to be addressed before the Twilight Zone ends and we go back to our homes? Pete, does your wife uh, have a job? Pete don't like to talk about his wife there. I'm sorry, Pete. What's up with his wife? Something happened. She around? Oh, she's fine. He just don't like her very much. <laughs> Peter, where's the head? Same place it was an hour ago, Marty. Right. Come on, Marty. Nick. You've been here before, Marty. Another six? What is it with you, guy? You get a hell of a lot of sixes for one guy. I haven't even noticed. What's uh, the deal with that? Uh, Pete, do you have any water? Yeah, in the kitchen. He's suspicious. <laughs> oh, the devil, the devil! Six, six, six. Excuse me, darling. Maybe a six is up his sleeve. I'll keep aces up there. Something's up with that guy. Yeah. 
it seems to me that every hand here is one. Three sixes has three had sixes. something to do with it. And I think we all know what three sixes has been known to mean. Yeah, number of the beast. Oh, yeah. An evil sign or something. So maybe if a guy got thinking, maybe he might think that Nick was the devil. Dude, Wait a minute. you've been drinking too much, dude. Let's be really short. <clears throat> Peter, look under his down card. We're still playing. Tony, maybe this is more important, huh? He could be the devil. Go ahead, Peter. We gotta find out if it's a six. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> Man, it's him. It's the guy. But what's the devil doing in New Jersey? What are you talking about? <laughs> Tony, I think he lives here. <laughs> I don't know why I find that so funny. What's the devil doing in New Jersey? <laughs> That's it. That's all I had to laugh. All right. Well, what's he doing here in this house? Let, let, let's call Norman. It's his cousin. He should know. Uh, but, but that's what he says. That's who he says. Uh, I mean, there's only one reason the devil goes someplace, man, and everyone knows it. To get souls? He's come for one of us. Get out of here. The question is who? Uh, not me. I'm a God-fearing citizen. Peter's house. Yeah, so what? J Jake's the one with the chest pains. Oh, oh no way. I never felt so good. Hey guys, Norman's not home. Is he dead? Hey, say dead loser the guy. As we spoiled. Let's go home. Is anything wrong? We just tried to call Norman. Norman's not home sick. What do you gotta say about that, huh? Mr. Six Six. He could six. be on the toilet. Norman's out visiting a sick uncle. Excuse me. Make that a dead uncle. Oh, a dead uncle. You mean you really are him? Uh, I guess I am, Tony. I guess I should have said something sooner. And I didn't want to spoil a good card game. What you doing here? I apologize. But trust me, you can keep the money. You won't need it more than I do. All except one of you. Oh, which one of us? Is it Marty? Is he, uh, is he dying on the pooper? Who might that be? It's not because I've been drinking so much, is it? Yes. Oh, oh god damn it. It's one thing being a devil, it's another thing being a total jerk. Yeah. On, yeah. yeah. If because of my wife walking out of me. You know, I know I was yelling and screaming at her too much. Oh, she walked out on me. Hardly seems fair. Uh... Seems fair to me. Shut up. Don't you tell uh, me. Shut up. Gentlemen, <laughs> gentlemen, please. <laughs> We're all card players, right? Let's play some cards. Why don't we make a little game of it? Each one of you pick a card, and the highest card wins. Right? He's gonna get a six, so you only have to beat a six for, for him. Where's Marty? The music. The music is. <laughs> it's of its time. Tony, pick a card, huh? Uh, that one. Don't think about it too much. Don't overthink it. Just. What about Marty there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Marty. Uh, isn't he still in the bathroom? Marty would pick a low card anyway. There are some people too innocent to corrupt. Aww. Pick a card. Yeah, is the high card going to be the one who gets to go to hell or, or what? Eight. Oh, he said Marty would pick low, so. Jake. High is bad. What about ace? Is ace high or low, dude? <laughs> you still got a, sh a chance. Pete. What if he picks eight as well? King of Diamonds? Is it an ace? It's the Jack of Spades. Uh, listen, uh, Pete. Uh, Where will we be going now? We're gonna clean up around here. Okay? Um, I, I'll call your wife. She'll take it, all right? It's kind of what she's been wanting anyway. Can I have your bowling ball? Sure. It was rigged. You forced the cards like those magic guys do. He's a magician. I had a great time. Thanks a lot. Hey. Hey. We're just taking this guy's word for it that he's Lucifer. There's no evidence of it. You could just be really good at cards, you know? Stack the deck. Get the sixes. Make them paranoid. And then this game. You know, magicians do. Magician stuff, like he was saying. You know? Maybe he's just trying to scare him straight. Or... Maybe he's... Maybe it's not what we... Think. How about you playing for your soul, dude? Just playing for your soul. All you have to do is beat three sixes. Horrible house. Peter and I have to go now. Not yet. Peter, you really don't have any choice in the matter. Uh, hold it, hold it, hold it there, guy. 
Maybe he needs a fighting chance there. Yeah, yeah. That's just not the way that it's done. It's the honorable thing, and it is done among men such as us. I mean, yeah. men but up here in New Jersey, we do things a little different. Yeah, New Jersey. What do you suggest? <laughs> you and me, one hand, winner takes all. Right. Let's do it, let's Come do on. it. Chances are you're gonna win anyway, right? What the hell? Whoop. Don't let him hear the cards. Friday. Believe it was my idea? Yeah, don't don't let him take all the sixes out. Mm. I call the game. Ooh, what kind of game? Low ball. What's that? What, what's, what's low that? Ball? What's that? Look, in low ball, one pair beats two pair. No pair, no matching cards at all beats a pair. Oh, you don't want three. You don't want three sixes. If you've been getting three big nasty sixes like Nick's been doing all night, give it up, Devil. Mr. Devil to you. Oh. <laughs> That's a six. That's a seven. Oops. Ooh, a three. Hey, Marty. You wanna watch some? What is it? What is it? Oh, it's a two. Five and a two. So far, so good. What's going on? Uh, Nick's the devil and Peter's playing. Pete loses. Nick, I guess, to take his soul. There it is. You got it. Ooh. Oh, two fives. At least two sixes. Oh, at least three fives. He's got another six coming. I love this mano a mano crap. Oh, at least three. Three of a kind. Six. Next out of here. No, four fives. But does the other guy have a fourth six? It all depends on what he's got underneath there. I mean, he might have a fourth six. In which case, you win, right? Tony, Tony, do you know the odds against something like that happening? A million to one. Well. Oh, wild cards. Death. That's cheating. No more games. Hey, that's not a card in the deck. Forfeit. That's cheating. Let's go, Peter. Maybe his wife can come in and hit the devil with a bottle of whiskey. I don't get it. What's this card mean? Don't touch the card! Oh, he turned the. He touched the card! What does that mean? Oh, Fort Six. Get out of here, devil. You lose. Peter's a full six! You're right! That means Peter won! You tried to trick us! Yeah, but old Marty here couldn't be fooled. Way to go, Marty! That wasn't very sporting what you done then. Yeah. Get out of here. I'm sorry, I really am. I couldn't help myself. I'm the devil. What was that? What the hell was that? There. I've made it up to you, but never let it be said that I am not a generous man. Peter, thank you for your hospitality. Good night, gentlemen. Hey, hey guys, come on in here. Come quick. Is it Pierce? Look at that. I think I died and went Ooh. to heaven. <laughs> oh, Here. the fridge is loaded. Oh, well, uh, that Nick's not such a bad guy after all, huh? Maybe not. Is this a poker game or a hen party? Are we here to talk or are we here to play cards? Uh, yeah, let's play cards. Hey, Marty, you deal. How about some five-card studs? Oh, <laughs> all right, good game, five studs. <laughs> Still want to go fishing Sunday morning? No, well, fishing. I don't know, Tony. The old lady's been bugging me to go to church. And I figure this Sunday I might go, you know, to appease her. Yeah, her. yeah, go to church. <laughs> There's an old saying, oft told but seldom heeded, never deal with the devil. Yeah. But if by chance you must, He's a cheat. it's nice to know he can be a good sport. <laughs> just a friendly game of cards among a friendly group of guys who have just come back. They seem like good guys. From the Twilight Zone. They got out. They survived. So, that was Dealer's Choice. A fun, a funny episode of the Twilight Zone. With many famous faces in the cast. Just a story about these these fellas who get together, play poker. At the start, I thought the episode was going to be a somber tale about all the problems each of them have. And, you know, Peter has, uh, he's been drinking a lot. Everybody's concerned about that. But I thought every one of them might have a secret to share. Maybe they could all help, help each through, other through it or... Maybe one of them was dark and sinister. But it turns out the devil just turned up 
to their poker game, and he's there for one of their souls. And they could tell by all the sixes he was getting, which is kind of funny, actually. You know, could have just been a crazy coincidence, but he quickly owned up to it. And then they outsmarted him by playing a game where three sixes of any kind are going to cause you some trouble, you know? If you can't avoid getting, getting the sixes. Although in the, the final game he got four sixes, which which is just a bad, just bad luck really. You know, he was guaranteed the three, but he got that fourth one. He tried to cover it up because he's the sneaky, stinking devil. He had to try to cheat to get Peter's soul. But then he he owned up to it again. He was he was fine at the end. Stocked their fridge, gave him lots of food, said he'd check in with them later. Each one in turn. Get out of here, devil. We don't want any of your business for New Jersey New Jersey, that's for sure. And you know, I've just basically summarized the episode. <laughs> Um, because there's not much to say. It's just just funny to see all the the famous the famous people. Morgan Freeman, uh, arguably the most famous, but the others are all in multiple multiple things over the years. Too many to list, you know. But they all work together. They had a good chemistry together. The four of them, five of them. It it really felt like they could be hanging out and playing poker, you know. It it didn't feel, you know, it felt natural. It felt very natural the the back and forth dialogue between them, and even the 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 sort of the silly little lines about the the fridge being out of beer and where's the John and just just small little details like that really add to the the realism of it in a crazy unrealistic episode and hey I asked for poker we got poker so that's good too so next episode is called let's check the title Dead Woman's Shoes now in the original Twilight Zone we had Dead Man's Shoes and if you don't want to know what happens in Dead Man's Shoes I'll see you next time get out of here I'm about to spoil it are you gone? What do you mean you want to be spoiled? Get out of here, I said. Go watch it. Anyway, in Dead Man's Shoes, when a man died, and someone, like, it was a homeless guy, he found his shoes, he was like, ooh, fancy shoes. Put the shoes on, became inhabited by the ghost of the dead man. Started doing all sorts of shady things to get his revenge on the guys who killed him. Will Dead Woman Shoes be a retread of that story? Or will it be entirely different? Uh, little Boy Lost was entirely different to Little Girl Lost. So we could go either way. I suspect that it will be a different, entirely different story. Uh, just with a little nod. The title is just a little nod to the 60s. So come back next time and see if I'm right or wrong. And uh, if the devil comes knocking, don't answer your door. Don't never answer the door to anybody. That's my, my tip for the day. I'll see you next time. <laughs>